are transitioning into the thing said. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God Holy in the Ghost earth today. God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. Holy My name Ghost is Andrew Hemstra. Thank you for joining today. us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight I will be speaking from the room of Holy Ghost worship. I worship the Holy Ghost, and so I speak from this place. Everything is in this room. Listen to me. Everything is in this room. Everything you could possibly want or desire is in here. Now I'm going to make a few statements tonight that may shake you, but ultimately it will help you out. I'm not saying these things just to be disruptive. Are you ready? God doesn't care about you or about your situation or your circumstances. Oh, 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 don't say that. Hold on. I'm not done with my statement. That's just part of the statement. God doesn't care that much about you or your situation or your circumstances. In fact, harboring that kind of knowledge. Or that kind of belief that God cares about you and about your situations can be detrimental in fact you can go to hell believing that way that God cares about you and you can spend your entire life sick unhealthy in poverty and want your whole life still harboring that belief that somehow God cares about you and your situation well if he did why are you that way why are you still sick why are you still poor God cares about me no God doesn't care that much about you and your situation and your circumstance listen and this is where it changes he cares about his word spoken knowledge of that my friend changes everything knowledge of that will get you anywhere get you anything all things are yours with that knowledge are you still here or did you leave already Romans chapter 2 and verse 11 for there is no respect of persons with God how much respect with God is there of persons there's zero respect there's no respect of persons with God so if you're with God he's not respecting the person are you a person I'm a person you're a person he doesn't respect that that's not what he respects there is no respect of persons with God you want to walk with God get used to it he doesn't respect you <laughs> he doesn't respect me no he doesn't but he respects his word spoken he respects his word spoken so even though he doesn't really respect you and your situation and your circumstances nah, 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 he does respect his word spoken so when you choose to speak his word out your mouth respect you see I'm I'm transitioning from me 
because he doesn't respect that I'm transitioning from me and what I could do and what I couldn't do into the thing said I'm transitioning from me into the thing said it's not about me it's not about you no respect I get no respect it's about his word in your mouth Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12 for I will hasten my word to perform it other translations say I will watch over my word to perform it he hastens and watches over you no he hastens and watches over his word to perform it are you starting to get this he says I hasten my word to perform it Psalms 119.05 says thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path thy spoken word is a light unto my path my path changes God's word in your mouth changes the story changes your story changes your outcome changes your situation you see your path changes it wasn't even there before now listen I'm still helping you out when I say the word righteousness it's not about you doing something and about you not doing something I'm not talking about that would be your righteousness zero respect I'm talking about God's righteousness when I say righteousness think speaking the word Romans chapter 10 and verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks say the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness which is of faith speaks look down to verse 8 but what saith it the righteousness of faith the word the righteousness which is of faith speaks what saith it the word so don't think doing things not doing things all of this stuff which would be your righteousness no respect God respects his word the righteousness which is of faith speaks the word I stand on solid ground when I speak the word that's righteousness listen to me righteousness speaks the word get that straight you don't have it straight get it straight when I say righteousness think speaks the word God cares about his word spoken when you speak his words you're speaking righteousness you righteous man a light shall appear to the righteous on the earth they shall seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits some criticize the righteousness I have found in this room they say oh there's nothing there well how would they know they know nothing about it they don't worship the Holy Ghost and certainly they don't worship him enough to have been changed by being in that room some have one foot in and one foot out and get nothing you ever wonder where and how I get these things it's being in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost
you ever wonder how I know it's about speaking in agreement with his word it's something you get to know by being in this room if you are with me if you are part of this society what word are you saying and expecting it to come to pass you are changed into that thing some say they know the Holy Ghost but if you listen to them for a while you'll realize they're just talking about the anointing they don't worship him or speak in agreement with his word like we do in this room what word are you saying Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions the number one cause of all death is old age people's parts wearing out because they got old it destroys them he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions listen there is a righteousness that prolongs life now when I said righteousness what did you think speaks the word there is a speaking of the word that prolongs life supersedes the destruction Proverbs 10 11 says the mouth of a righteous man is a well of life Proverbs 11 6 the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them the speaking the word of the upright shall deliver them righteousness delivers saying the word delivers the righteousness of faith speaks the word saying the word will deliver you saying the word will deliver you I believe in saying God's Word well I'm going here follow me or not but this is not where I was before I stand in a new place I was fully saved I was fully baptized in the Holy Ghost speaking with other tongues Pentecostal word of faith healing believing gifts operating preacher but this is night and day different worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word has changed me my future is different than yours unless you go here too follow me follow me literally means fall in behind I'm going here Jesus used those words follow me and most cemetery I mean seminaries teach that these are the words that he used to call his apostles and he did but they weren't apostles at the time he was calling those people those men to close discipleship and then they became apostles he said it to disciples who became apostles follow me they called him teacher thereafter or master both which were terms of respect Paul also used those words follow me follow me you don't have to but if you do you can expect certain things you will come to know the Holy Ghost as God in a way that you never have before and you will worship him you will also begin to see in this room of Holy Ghost worship 
that it is by speaking in agreement with his words by speaking his words that you walk with him in the earth in this day respect saying and speaking in agreement with his word is another one of those things that you don't really get until you do it until you do it enough until you have a result same with worshiping the holy ghost i worship you holy ghost using those words i worship you holy ghost you have to do it enough until you see the results and the result is you entering into that space entering into that place and being changed by it and then you begin speaking in agreement with his word this is a new way you've never been before a road less traveled really a road never traveled say God gave me his word now I have it he gave it to me you know people talk about oh somebody he gave me his word means he he'll do what he said he will do no he gave you his his word he gave it to you it's mine now I own it I possess it it's mine he gave it to me back off he gave it to me it's mine I own it I possess it do you and what do you do with it you say it it's not about me it's not about you it's not personal but there's no respect of persons you are transitioning into the thing said I'm bringing people into this new reality follow me everything is in this room Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you for these people who've heard this word this evening and their life is being changed from one glory to the next and it shall never stop until everything has been reorganized and changed into the living Word of God that we walk in in the light in this earth in this day in Jesus name if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand and I want you to know that I wished the years ago I had a ministry like this one that I could sow into say this I give and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together and running over do men give into my bosom in the same measure I met it's measured back to me Holy Ghost I thank you you are working that out right now in their lives in Jesus name Amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today